My name is Genevieve, and I've been married for three years. I work for an IT company during the day. My husband is kind, and I enjoy living with him every day. But when you work, you're bound to have problems. So once a month, I get together with my coworkers. We talk about our frustrations at home, our problems at work, and many other things. We also have girls' night to eat out sometimes, or get together at someone's house and have a party. But Zoe, one of the four, she is trouble for everyone. It is because she has no shame. So this time, we decided to go to brunch without telling Zoe. We went to a nice Chinese restaurant that day. Just as we were enjoying our meal, Zoe showed up unexpectedly. That night, hi, Jennifer. Chinese lunch was delicious. Thank you. Next time, you better invite me. Yeah, it was really good. By the way, Zoe, what was the urgent matter? You joined in the middle, ordered a lot of food, and when I thought you were done eating, you said it was urgent and left in a hurry. I paid for your meal. Give me back forty-five dollars tomorrow. What? What are you talking about? I'm not paying you. It's on you today. What? Excuse me. Why do I have to pay for you? I had to run an errand, but I went all the way out to lunch. I didn't have much time, and my friend was waiting for me. However, I prioritized the lunch party you insisted on, so at least you can pay for me. That's not right. I can't believe I'm paying for your meal because of that. Anyone would say you are crazy for thinking that way, but I deserve that much. What are you talking about? It was just a lunch party. If you had something to do, you shouldn't have come. You didn't have to come and made your friend wait. I didn't have to go, but I made my friend wait for me. That's why you should pay for me. This is ridiculous. Then I'll tell you something. I didn't ask you out. I didn't invite you, and you came on your own. Yeah, I didn't get invited. I know. I was so shocked. I was expecting you to call me too. You've been sneaking around, telling your usual members about it. I heard from someone who was listening me. I thought if I don't go, it's going to destroy our friendship. That's why I rushed over to your lunch party today. The fact that you're being mean to me. I hid it from them by having me attend your lunch party, so my presence at the lunch protected your position. You should be grateful. Why can't you pay for my meal in return? Wow, I'm disgusted. What were you going to do if the restaurant was reserved? I heard you don't need reservation. Whatever it is, I don't have any obligation to pay for your meal. I didn't ask you to come, but you forced yourself to come. I'm not trying to be mean, and I'm not trying to pay. Anyway, pay me forty-five dollars tomorrow. You're so stingy. If you wanted money so badly, why did you go out for lunch? Stingy? That's not the point. What I'm saying is, I don't have money for you. You should pay for your own meal. Forty-five bucks is nothing, right? So you can pay me forty-five dollars. I feel sorry for you, complaining about forty-five dollars. You are having some trouble making ends meet. On the other hand, my husband earns a lot of money. Oh, I'm so glad you have enough money. We don't have the luxury of paying for other people's meal. I'm jealous of you. I wish you'd pay for my meals. Why do I have to pay for your meals? That's my line. You and I have different reasons. What's the difference? You didn't invite me. You harassed me. So you pay forty-five dollars for that. I won't tell anyone about your harassment if you pay. See, you and I are in completely different positions. Do you understand?
Anyway, I've protected you and I. Well, at the moment, I went to the restaurant. You were so dummy. You have no common sense. That's enough. All right, all right. You will never pay for the meal, right? No. Why would I? You should be sorry for what you did. I know exactly what you think. Please don't attend our lunch parties in the future. Let me make this very clear. I'm not going to invite you again. Don't just show up at our lunch party out of the blue with some crazy accusation. Wow, you're revealing yourself. See, you're boring me. Don't you have any shame in doing that? You're all for. That's my line. You don't know what you are talking about. There's no point in talking anymore. You and I are too different. Please don't contact me again. Good night. I was so angry. This is how Donny always made everyone feel bad when she made cryptic statements. Whenever she is invited to a home party, she comes empty-handed. She gets invited to birthday parties and doesn't even bring a gift. Anyway, everyone has been dislike Donny, but if I don't have to invite her again, I'll pay forty-five dollars, and I'd rise to calm my anger. Three weeks later, our wedding anniversary was coming up. To celebrate, we made a reservation for dinner at a restaurant, and the night of the day. Genevieve, are you still not here? You're such a dummy. What do you want, Joy? And you're still such a jerk. Looks like I was one step ahead of you again. Ahead of me? What are you talking about? It's your wedding anniversary, right? How do you know? Because I heard you were talking about it to a coworker. You're such a good eavesdropper. You made a reservation for a friend dinner today, didn't you? That's nice. I'm generous. But last time you told me you weren't going to invite me anymore. Exactly. I'd like to cut you off too. That's too bad. I went ahead to the restaurant and had the course meal for the weird. All that's left is for you to come and pay. Hurry up! I'm waiting for you. It's almost time for your appointment, right? What are you talking about? You said dinner? Yes. Hey, I think you misunderstood me. So can I ask you something? We are Williams. Didn't you just say the Williams? It's so funny that you even remember my name wrong. Oh, that's right. Well, it happened. Anyway, I've eaten all the meal you reserved. You can eat all you want, but we already finished eating an hour ago and already at home. What? What does that mean? I don't know. But I can tell you one thing. You guys ate the Williams dinner. What do you mean? Well, don't ask me. I wonder if the Williams family, who really booked the place, will be there now. We reserved for 6 p.m. We came home long time ago. It was amazing dinner. Oh no! Are you saying we are having dinner of strangers? Must be it. I never thought you'd make that mistake. Today, I wasn't disturbed by you and forced to pay for you. It was just a great time. Thank goodness you misunderstood my name. You're not smart, huh? I'm in trouble. I didn't bring any money with me. What am I supposed to do? You ate it yourself, so why shouldn't you pay for it yourself? It's a Williams who are coming for dinner. First, apologize to them. I can't believe I'm in this situation. Are you alone now? You didn't have dinner alone, did you? Didn't your husband bring any money? You mean James? No, he didn't bring any money either. Because I was going to ask you to pay for our meal. Huh? You're still talking things like that? I told him that I was being harassed by you, so as payback. I suggested that we go ahead and eat the dinner that the weary arms had made reservation for. And did your husband agree? Yeah, he said it's good idea. Let's get revenge. I mean, a full course French meal for free? Why wouldn't I? Wow, you and your husband are insane together. Why did you think you could get a free dinner in the first place? 
It's annoying. Everyone call us insane. Insane. We are totally normal. So that means I'm not the only one who called you insane, right? That makes sense. Shall I tell you? It's called getting what you deserve. You pay for what you eat. This is common sense. Now you are trying to make people pay for what you ate. Is it common sense or insane? What? You think I'm an idiot? What am I supposed to do with this situation? You have to take a responsibility for what you did. It's none of my business and don't get me wrong. The reason I didn't invite you was because all the usual members agreed that it would be a good idea. We all hate you. I was not trying to be mean to you. It's just that we all feel the same way. We all didn't want you to come to lunch parties. What's the matter with you? Don't interrupt me with something that's not relevant right now. I hate to tell you this, but you've been using the same tactics to get free meal, haven't you? You say it's urgent or something and be gone before the checkout. All this time, we've been paying for your meals or your coffee. I'm going to charge you for all the victims. You'll have to pay for it. Huh? Don't remember that? I don't know. It's okay. Even if you don't remember, we took screenshots of the conversation when you first asked to pay. I don't know anything about that. I will never pay. It's your fault, isn't it? What's the matter with you now? You can only say that now. Wh what? My brother is the president of the company your husband, James, works for. What? Your brother is the president? You guys are cyberings? Yeah, nobody is. My brother. And now, for our wedding anniversary, he came over with a gift and he is with us now. Of course, he knows everything what we are talking about. Uh, I'm surprised. James works for nobody's company. No way! It's a small word, isn't it? No, that's bullshit. I don't believe you. Believe it or not, it's none of my business, but nobody is so disgusted. He is lost, insult, saying he's going to move him far away from here. He can't have an oh. insane employee working at the headquarters. Oh no, what should I do? I hope that this incident has made Zoe and her husband reflect on what they have done. After that, the restaurant turned them over to the police for eating and drinking without paying, and the company fired him for causing a police incident and damaging the company name, and they moved somewhere far away.